Hey guys, it's me, Panto6, and today I, I'm i really annoyed, really, really annoyed, and this is something that's been going on for a long time, um, and you might see it right here on the screen. When you take a look on this screen, what's the first thing you notice? Most likely, games that has a thousand different editions. Now, we've seen this before, Ubisoft does it quite a bit, so does Capcom, uh, <laughs> Activision, everybody does it. But, um, you know, I, I hop on, you know, Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, Steam, and, you know, you can basically see where pre-order culture has gotten us to. You know, there's a thousand different editions of Homefront, or if you have to pre-order physically, each store has, you know, special content that you can only get by pre-ordering Best Buy, Walmart, Target, Amazon, you name it. Um... I'm not really, really sure why this is so common. I mean, technically, you're, you know, you buy these games, you get extra content, maybe the season pass, maybe not. Um, EA, they sell pr premium DLC um, for Battlefield, $60 or $50, whatever it is, and Doom's doing the same thing. It's not going to be single-player content, it's going to be multiplayer content, which that's something else I want to talk about. But... I mean, just taking a look at this screen right here. Um, I mean, you see right there, Homefront's got three editions. I think there's there were more than that. Uh, Doom's got four of them. Battleborn three, Final Fantasy, uh, you name it. They all have it. And this is only going to get worse as time goes on. I think Batman had that too. Like, there, <laughs> there's so many editions of Batman and uh, Watch Dogs. It's just crazy, 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 crazy. And I'd like to see it not, you know, I'd like to see something go away with that. Um, it was really, really awesome to see um, <laughs> Quantum Break. It didn't have that. It was just one edition. You bought it, that's it. And I really like that. And I, I, I mean, that's cool if you want to sell DLC, but I, I don't want to be forced to purchase or think I'm going to miss out on something because I didn't purchase the $90 edition that comes with all the bells and whistles. Because automatically you see that, well, I'm going to buy the bare bones experience because I'm not spending $90 right away. I I, I mean, there's no real stopping it at this point. This is just going to keep going on and on and on and on and on and on. Um, so hopefully, I, I don't know, hopefully something changes on it. Which I kind of I want to talk about one more thing while I'm on here. This is going to be quite short. Um, but since we're on the topic here, I'm going to talk about Doom. So, <laughs> if you guys had a chance, you could play the Doom multiplayer beta right now. Now, I did a <laughs> impressions video when I played the beta. Uh, this was about a couple weeks ago. And I actually really liked it. Now, I play a lot of shooters. I play console shooters and... You know, PC. I I jump from console, PC, everywhere. So I play games on all the platforms. Uh, some people are less fortunate, but you know that's just how it is. I always, you know, I play games on everything. Now, <clears throat> the thing is, um, they just released a complete open beta because it was on close there for a little bit, and um, a lot of PC uh, players currently. Um, they're not really caring too much for it, just to the fact um, uh, it's just there's so much uh, to it. Like, let me let me bring this up here for a moment. I'll show you guys. There are so many negative reviews for it right now, um, <coughs> and you know, I I don't even know. It looks like they actually change it. No user reviews. Uh, where is the beta? Well, anyways, there was a beta. There was a multiplayer beta. Um, and this was, uh, they had it where you can download it. And the page had like 9,000 some me mostly negative reviews. Um, and it's basically because the multiplayer felt really similar to any other shooter. Like Halo, Call of Duty, uh, any generic shooter that's been out. Now, um one thing is true, um, the multiplayer is not actually being developed by the same team that's actually doing the single player portion, which that's cool, that's fine with that. 
Um, if you're familiar with Certain Affinity, that is the team that has worked on Halo maps, and uh, I believe they're, they're doing the multiplayer here, and I think they also worked on some Call of Duty stuff as well. Um, right as you start the beta, you know, you got loadouts, um, you know, <laughs> it feels like it feels like an arena twitch shooter, but it also feels you can definitely feel like a console shooter like Halo. I think it felt like Halo. It looks like Halo Five. Um, if you played it in your multiplayer, it looks like that, but super super gory. Um, it does have like maintain like a old school feeling with the twitch shooters where you know it feels a little bit fast, but it's not as fast as something like Unreal Tournament or Quake Live. Um, or CSGO even. Um, now, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, which I doubt it's going to happen, um, I think the single player portion is going to be just fine. I think it's going to feel like Doom. And I'm not going to really, I might, might play a little bit in the multiplayer, but I doubt it. Um, and I'm not super into multiplayer. Like today, you know, I finally, I sit down with um, my fiance and we played... Uh, Minecraft, and you know, I I had fun doing that, but I usually don't play. I used to a lot of my big thing was Battlefield, uh, ba you know, any of the Battlefield games except for Hardline. I played through the single player, and I tried getting into the multiplayer, and I just couldn't do it. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I think Doom's going to be fine as a single player experience. Um, I believe it's being done by the guys that actually worked on. Um, the Wolfenstein reboot, which was really, really good. Um, but I, I'm just hoping, you know, it's fine. I don't want it to be consoleized. I want it to feel like Doom. I love Doom. I, you know, played Doom, you know, when I was a kid. Um, I play Doom 3. I actually like Doom 3. There's a lot of people don't really care for it, but, you know, I like that. But also, one more thing. Um, again, I want to talk about this just one more time. I might bring it up again later. Um, if you check out my previous video um, with the Let's Talk, I talked about a whole bunch of things about 20 minutes. But one thing um, I want to talk about for sure again is if you haven't checked it out, um, check out my uh, – I have a project that I'm working on. I'm hoping it takes off, and that is the bits and pieces. It's like a game store that does card games, video games, board games, and we're going to try to do something where we said make sandwiches as well as – have tournaments and game nights and stuff like that. But that's not the only thing Bits and Pieces is. If you take a look at the title, Bits and Pieces come together. So basically what that means is if there's everybody, anybody, race, religion, sex, um, <coughs> if you're, you know, your, your, your sex preference, preference um, your re relationship preference, you know, everybody is more than welcome to come. But we're wanting to take also take care of people which suffer with depression, anxiety, abuse, and you know thoughts of suicide. Because as somebody that's actually been through stuff like that and seen other people that's you know throwing their lives away, not up close and personal, but known people, you know it's something I really really love to take off. Now also um, I noticed the channel it's it's not really growing uh, any. I do try to put out some as much content as I possibly can. Um, if you guys like to, feel free to hit like and subscribe. I'd love to see the channel to grow. I'd love to make a difference. Um, and I know I'm not the only fat neck beard on the internet that's you know telling you not to buy this game or that game. Basically, all I want to do is make a difference, help you out, and maybe maybe something would good happen. I'll make a difference. Hashtag make a difference anyways guys I start my I started my job today um, but I'm going to try my best I'm going to try to still put out content as much as possible so um, there might be times where it might be a little bit late but I'm going to try to at least get three or four videos out a week um, and I'm going to try to start working a little bit more with um, my fiance she's starting a YouTube channel as well it's going to be pasta fairy and she likes to do Minecraft and all kinds of different games, Dragon Age. Uh, so whenever she gets everything straight now, check her out as well. We'll be doing a lot of multiplayer stuff, me and her. But guys, thank you again so much for checking us out. Um, if that annoys you too with the pre-order bonuses, 
or if you have any concerns with Doom, you know, let's talk about it in the comments. Uh, I'd love to hear your input, and hopefully, you know, we can talk this out together. Again, my name is Panzer6. Thank you so much, and be sure to like and subscribe. Love you.